What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another one. Another great product, guys. I told you guys I would come do a review on it. It's the Chemical Guys All in One Polish Plus Ceiling. And, guys, these are the type of products that I've been talking about for the last couple days. These are the type of products that you guys are going to want to buy if you're looking for a hard shine on your paint. Plus, leave behind the protection. Um, these are the products you got to look into. Now, I ordered this last week. It's on Amazon. I picked it up for $15.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal. You know, I think it was $14.99 or $15.99. One of the two. Okay. Now, this stuff was like $18. Bucks, so, I just kind of wait for it. It went down a little bit. So, if I can wait, you know... See it go down three, four dollars or something like that. Then I jump right on. That's how I do. I don't always jump the first sight, you know, for something like eighteen, nineteen dollars, unless I really want it bad, bad. But a lot of times I'll wait until the product go down a couple dollars. Then I jump on it. That's how I do. I saw around fifteen bucks. Boom! I hit that order button right quick because I knew it was eighteen dollars. So knock three dollars off. That's right down my line. All right, so you know here, this is a polish, shine, and a protector. Okay, this is a one-step polish. It's a synthetic sealant, all in one. Okay, it says your one-step polish and shine removes swirls, scratches, adds durable protection. All right, chemical guys, known for some good stuff. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to just work this area here. Uh, it's got a few little scrapes up in there, if you can see there. And we're basically just going to work it, buff it back off. Then we're going to hit it with the uh, DA. Uh, as you can see, I got something applied here. A couple pieces of eye drops. And um, we're just going to hit it by hand first, so you guys can see what it's like, you know, working it by hand. Then you guys can see what it's like working it with the machine. Now, I'm just going to use the machine, the DA on three. I ain't going to go all crazy with it. I'm just going to use it on three. I mean, if you guys want to use it on six and all that, five or whatever, that's up to y'all. I'm just going to use it on three. All right? We just show you what it's like with a fine cutting pad. Okay? So, no further ado, let's get to it, man. We'll push this back out of the way. All right? So, here we're going to um, take this little foam pad here. We're going to work it in. Okay, here we go. It's what it like close up. Now, the smell of this product smells kind of sweet. It's kind of like a sweet candy light smell to it. So, just you guys, so you guys will know, in the sweet sense, <laughs> the product has got a sweet smell to it. All right, so let's heat it up. Here we go. You can hear the braciness in this product. As I rub it up here, I don't like to do circular motions. I like to take my stuff in a straight line, guys, if you noticed it. But you can listen now. You can hear the braciness in here. You can hear the polishing agents that's in this stuff. And you can hear it very well. Okay. Now, as you know, a polish, you don't really let it dry too much, you know. The minute you pull it, you push, work it up here. The minute you put it up here, it kind of just, you know, when you're pushing it around like this right here, you take it and buff it right back off because it's basically like, um, it's got light abrasives in here, so it's going to take out swirls and scratches. So uh, it's got, like I said, light abrasives. So you're going to want to go ahead and buff that back off. Most cases, you don't want to polish to really dry up too much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bump that back on. And from what I'm seeing, it works pretty good, guys. Okay, come off really easy. You can see right up in there. That's where I worked at. Okay, see the disc. Okay. 
And it really gives a nice shine also. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. When you're really looking for products, that's really looking for products to make your paint shine, once again, these are the type of products that you guys are going to want to look into getting. You look for all-in-one polish plus a sealant. Because products like this going to correct the paint. It's going to take out swirls, scratches, oxidation, and it's going to leave behind durable protection. These are the type of products you're going to want to look into. And for around $15 or something, this is a great product. It really does a great job at shining, as you can see right there. Okay. And mind you, now, this is a 20-year-old pound of hood. You know what I'm saying? Still look decent for 20 years old, though. It's not that bad. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take this all-in-one chemical guys polish plus sealant. We're going to find some work areas back here. We're going to work this product in with the DA. Now we're using a 6-inch ZTE fine cutting pad. All right, it's got a little fine cut to it. Well, I told you guys I don't really believe in buying a whole lot of high-end pads because like I said, when you're doing your own vehicles and stuff, cars, trucks, SUVs, or vans, or whatever, you don't have to have the most expensive pad in the world to do your own cars, you know. Uh, you know, if you're doing it for a living, you know, <laughs> maybe you're getting paid enough to do that, you know, to, to buy all them pads, but I, I'm just not going to do it, you know. It just ain't that important to me. I think the cheaper pads work just fine. I don't see much of a difference. And this one been holding up pretty good. Alright, so what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to work it with the DA. See how this stuff work out. It's kind of hard because this hood already looked pretty good. But what we're going to do, we're going to throw a little water testing up here behind it. If I work it in there, and we'll see what type of protection that the chemical guys all in one polish plus seal and leave them behind. We'll see how much high hydrophobic this product is. All right, so let's jump into it here. Let's go and work it in. Here we go. I'm using it on three.
All right, guys. Now, like I said, it's up to you. If you want to speed it up and all that stuff, it's on y'all. I use that on Speed Sand 3. And um, another thing, I see a lot of people out there claiming they're professionals and pros, but I see a lot of them moving that DA too fast. <laughs> now, that's just what I see. Guys, you got to run that DA slow to sort of take out the surface defects. You got to take your time and use that thing. And a lot of people think of the DA make a difference. It might one might have a little more power than the other, but all of them will get the job done. You don't have to buy the most expensive DA guys out there, you know, because you know it's just unnecessary. That's just my opinion of it. I mean, if you're doing your own cars and trucks, SUV, there's no need to spend a whole lot of money on a DA, because actually a DA is something you won't need a whole lot. It's something you might use every now and then. You know, you ain't going to be taking out scratches and swirls every day, no way. You know, that's just my theory of it. Okay, so anyway, when you see people moving that DA fast like this, some of them actually moving the DA too fast, guys. The DA got to be slowed. It got to be slowed down so it can take out the paint defects and stuff. If you're moving the DA too fast, you can't get time to remove the paint defects. I see a lot of people claiming they professionals. But they're moving that DA too fast. They need to slow down. A lot of these people are claiming they're professionals. They ain't professionals, guys. Y'all can believe that. This is a big put on. I know it's a couple of them right now. They have a lot of stuff going on. They're claiming they're professionals, but they're really not. Okay. I see some errors they're making already. For one, they're moving the DA too fast. For one. You know. That's one I see. I can get the ground out and cut the hood half in two. And I bet your life on it. <laughs> Y'all don't want to get my ground out. I cut this sucker half in two with my grinder now. I know how to work a grinder. I love to cut metal now. I cut up a lot of steel and stuff. That's what I used to do. I, cut, I chopped cars up. I love to work and cut up metal and stuff. That's the type of work I love to do. I love to weld and cut up metal. Yo, I got metal all in my eyes before. They got infected. Got them back right, though. All right, so I'm going to show you guys here. Now, look at the shine this year. Check that out. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw the light on it so you guys can see how focused this stuff gets your paint. So this is what puts your paint in focus when you polish it, guys. At the same time, it's leaving behind the protection that you want. You're definitely going to want to leave behind protection. See, all these one steps just make it easy on you, man. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw the light on it. I'm going to throw the light on it, then we're going to water test it. You guys hang tight. I'll be right back. Hang tight. Okay, guys. We reloaded. Here come the pain. All right, guys, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw the light on it and show you guys how this stuff kind of put things in focus. See here? I don't know how well you can see that, but you can hear. You can even see the flakes coming out in the hood. It's kind of like a metal flake. See here? It's in focus. See here? Now, imagine this is a 20-year-old hood. See there? All right. So, now you see, guys, it's in focus. Now, it can't be perfect, perfect. Now, like I said, this hood is 20 years old. This paint is 20 years old. All right. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to water test it. To see how much protection and stuff left behind. Here we go. You take a lot of water either, folks. See, you got to take a water hole running, water all over everywhere. It's not the case. All you need is enough water to see how much protection this stuff leaving behind. See here? It's hydrophobic. See there? It's leaving behind enough protection. Look at there. 
That's all you need right there. Now, if you want to, you can top it with a carnauba wax and make it give it a little bit more protection and a little bit more pop. Because carnauba wax give it a little shine. But most of your shine is going to come from your polish, guys. You got to get the surface right first. The surface are out of focus. I don't care what you put on it. It ain't going to help it none. Just going to show up more defects. That's all you're going to do. So you got to get it in focus first before you do anything. Okay? Check it out. Very hydrophobic. Very. Check it out. It's a good stuff, guys. Hydrophobic, too, see here. That's why I like my all in one so much. That's what I'm talking about. For 15 bucks on Amazon, guys, I highly recommend it. It's the Chemical Guys All in One Polish Plus Sealing, Synthetic Sealing. All right, there you go. I showed you guys what it's like by hand. I showed you guys what it's like working with the DA. I sit down on speed three. So if you want to go up to four, five, and six, it's up to y'all. I just did it on three. All right. So, guys, I hope you enjoy it, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And, yeah, guys, don't get caught up in the hype with these DAs out here. Uh, if you're doing your own car, this $100 DA coming off Amazon I do the job. Save yourself some money, man, because it's something you don't use a lot anyway. All right, you guys take care. I'll hit y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.